Hey everybody, Gage and Will here again. We just finished up watching the Smash 64 finals. Yeah. And I'm sitting here with Jimmy Joe and Club Adaba. See, I practiced a lot getting in here. Right. So guys, what do you think about everything you saw in the tournament? Not just the finals, but the overall. Oh, I mean, it was an amazing tournament. This Smash Con has been such an experience for us. And actually, I was told this is the biggest crowd that we've ever had watch a live Smash 64 event. So, That's saying something for Smash Con's first year, too. Yeah, it really is. And it, hopefully, this will be a wonderful annual thing. And it's really like a 15-year-old game that's still growing, and the, the game, the gameplay is still, the metagame is still evolving, and people are getting better and better. It's just, it's fascinating, and it's great for us, the people who, we're like the biggest fans. We, we love this game, so. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, this has probably been the best Smash event I've ever been to, I think. The best run event, the, the best, maybe the best tournament, just because there's so many new players coming out. Every time we come to these tournaments, there's a new, new players, Getting better and better. I mean, Caesar got fifth, the new guy. This guy, Fire Blaster, had a close set with Rizro. He made it all the way to seventh, and just everyone keeps getting better. It is crazy. This game is 16 years old, and we just keep playing. Yeah, it's it's awesome. That that in itself is amazing to me. The game has withstood the test of time, and people are still into it. Fans are loving it. I mean, it's just not, great. Not only that, it's been growing. At, at Apex 2012, we had. Maybe 60 entrants, 64 entrants for Smash 64. It was, it was a cool number. <laughs> but you know, it's it's in three years that has tripled. It continues to grow, and I, I think it still will because new people see the game. These people all saw the game. Maybe some of them will pick it up, start playing it. Now, were you guys following a particular player through the tournament that you felt that was like on top of the game or playing better than what they had been before in the past? I mean, oh yeah, I, well absolutely. And we were just talking about this on streams. Kiro Kuropi, who finished second, uh, we would have said before today that he was definitely below Tacos, uh, and, and he beat Tacos 3-0. And um, this kid, he's, you know, he's like one example, but so many people. I mean, that I, I mean, I didn't think I was going to lose to even like Justin. And, and I mean, so many, so many people here have gotten so good and are doing things that I mean, if they were playing in 2013, 2012, they would have finished top eight, and now they're finishing in the 30s. You know, it's really amazing how much better people are getting. Yeah, if we're doing this, got again, give a shout out to, uh, I think Caesar and Fire Blaster really, really did big this They're tournament. Awesome. They absolutely did. Uh, yeah, they did real big. Congratulations to Justin, too, placing 17th. I just yeah, want to get 17th, him a plug Justin. Right quick. 17th. But well, whatever, when you don't play for six months, I guess 17th's okay. So, and, our, and overall, Super Boom fan did take home everything. Are we surprised by this, or are we expected this out of him by now? We absolutely expected this. Um, he is, there was uh, very little doubt, I mean, in, in my mind. And uh, I was actually surprised to see Kiro. Uh, yeah, that would have been a big finals. upset. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he looked like he could hold himself in that match. He didn't look like outclassed. Like, I mean, if you saw me, I played a lot of friendlies with Super Boom fan today. And I consider myself a good player. And uh, it's, he outclasses you to the point where, He's just working on like tweaking little things here and there, and it's it's a, pretty much a combo video when he plays anyone outside of you know Kiro and Taco's level. Yeah, he would he would just pretty much repeatedly four or five stock all but like three or four players here, maybe. I mean, just rude, you know. He's really good. Yeah. He's, but it just gives really you good. it just gives you an idea of the incredible depth of this game that was made so long ago. It's just was so well thought out. And, uh, and that, you know, obviously that beauty transcends graphical beauty. And that's why we're playing this game today, and it's it's still growing, and that's why we're here, you know? Exactly. And real quick, for our fans at home, that brings up a great point. Gameplay is better than graphics. <laughs> I was right. right. <laughs> right. But 64 has the best graphics, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Club of Deba. The door is that way. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for joining us. Will, do you have any final questions before yeah, we get no, out of here? I'm just looking forward to the uh, Smash U and, of course, Melee. Uh, this weekend It's going to be great, so I'm um, really looking forward to that. So. Okay, well, guys, thanks again for joining thanks us. Thanks so much. Uh, for all things Super Smash Con and all tournament all right. coverage, make sure you stick on Press Start TV.